This is COY 104 FM. Okay, lads, we want to go straight to the man himself, uh, Davey Russell, lads. I mean, in all fairness, everybody watched the Grand National for the last two years. The roar that went up in the entry was something else. I want you to be loud enough for the man himself, Davey Russell. Come on, give me a huge round, lads. Davey, first of all, I mean, can I say, uh, there's a man I rang last night, he was hoping to be here tonight, himself and his wife. Unfortunately, he can't make it. He's a great friend with you and your family all his life, and he wants to wish you many congratulations, and that's John Parker, and I'm sure you'd want to acknowledge that. Yeah, I broke John Parker's heart and, and, and Angela Pumphrey's, and um, I think um, there was a couple of more houses up there in, in Sweetfield, the spring of Pony up. In charge 20 pence uh, uh, a ride, and to be fair, John is a saint, and, and Angel Pomford as well. And 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 uh, you know, we great crack up around up around there. And um, we used to go across to the wood, uh, there used to be the wood across the road. And um, what's his name in the house um, there alongside the wood? I think he, he Martin, Martin was uh, always never said he never said a word to us when you know. We, we were very well um, looked after as children around by the by the community, so it was always a nice place to be, you know. Davy, as I mentioned, John Parker and the GA, uh, the minute you finished, you crossed the line in the entry in front of millions of viewers and a crowd of probably a hundred thousand or more, and everything went through your head. You. Last year after class, I taught number one, your mother. She was only after passing away. And last, of this year, a couple of weeks ago, you taught also of Kieran O'Connor. That did not go unnoticed, Davy, here in Ireland. It was a wonderful gesture for your place here. I didn't really do it for any reason, only that he was on my thoughts and he had texted me. Uh, beforehand and after and uh, after Cheltenham and uh, he's going through a very tough time so um, I don't know, he was just on my mind I just felt that uh, if we could give him any bit of a boost at all you know, so. Well done Davy indeed Davy, in years to come people will be in pubs and clubs and they'll be saying what was the high point of Davy Russell's career and they will pick probably the Grand National they'll pick Tiger or they'll pick the Gold Cup to me Personally, I think the highest point of your career was back in January 2014 because you had just lost the number one job with Gigginstone. You could have gone on a rant, Davy. You could have done like Michael Healy Ray said in television during my time in the age. You could have belted your fist on the table like a spoiled pup. But you didn't, Davy. You knuckled down, you looked at the bigger picture. And look what you've achieved, not for yourself but for Gigginstone since. That took courage, Davy, the way you reacted to that decision. Ah, yeah, but I couldn't have done it without Jigginson or Gordon and the other trainers around, so I had an awful lot of support. And there were some great trainers at the time just kind of helped me out of a hole, and, you know, when you're riding nice horses, it's easy, do you know what I mean? So it was just brilliant. Um, it worked out, not that it doesn't always work out, but it worked out for me, thank God. Look, it was nice of Michael to be able to, be, to, to, be able to put me up as well, do you know what I mean? So... And of course, speaking of support, I'm sure all your life you had the support your father, Jerry, your mum, the late mum, Phyllis, uh, your two brothers, Dermot and Sean, of course, and Emer, Aileen, and Fanula, uh, and of course, Idil, now, and your own family. And to have that support, it is special. Ah, oh, it is. It's very nice. Uh, and especially now I'm living back in Yall, and they're all that bit closer, you know, and um, as I said before, I probably got a bit more special treatment for my parents than they did uh, I, I took up a lot more of their time dragging me here and there and everywhere and you know my siblings never they never said a word uh, Sean might have he's a bit um, no but genuinely you know they were they were they were I, I did take up quite a bit of their time and there was the garage and the farm and 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 six kids you know so it isn't like they had too much time to spare you know but look they did it willingly and I'm just grateful for that now. Davy, breeding has an awful lot to do with good race horses. We see the Bowen Coolmore, we see Beaconstone and all them. But you're not the only champion at home because your wife, Idel, is also a former Irish pole vault champion, I do believe. So with Lily and with uh, 
Finn and of course Liam and Jamie. There could be another champion on the way. Oh, sure, I don't know. <laughs> I do believe Liam is mad about Tiger Oil. Well, Finn, Finn, oh, Finn yeah. is, is a bit obsessed by him, all right. Uh, they all are now, they know who he is, and they're delighted. He was asking me since Monday when, when was Friday, so. But the problem with Finn is he's after seeing two Grand Nationals, and I'm after winning both of them, so. <laughs> Give him a round of applause for that. Well done, Finn. Finally, Davy, um, last night, I look back on that wonderful interview and video you did with the great Mick Fitzgerald, the former jockey, and you did it here in Yarl. And you were a very proud man during that video, Davey, and you must be a very proud man to be a Yarl man. Oh, I love Yarl. Um, I was the best of memories here as a child. Um, obviously, I went away for a couple of years, but I'm so happy to be back. Um, I don't know what it is about the town. I just, uh, I, I just love being able to drive around it. And, and we're so lucky. I don't think we realise how lucky we are. Um, like with uh, right by the sea and um, you know it's just uh, I just love the place uh, I think it has everything and I suppose we don't utilize it enough really but um, I, know I love the place okay dear well, finally we better finish off and speak about the horse uh, Tiger Royal he, he's a small horse Davey when did you notice in Tiger Royal that he was capable maybe of winning at the national uh, well, Karen, Karen was winning from the very start, and uh, uh, he won a uh, train hurdle, but it wasn't up until Keith, Dunne, who had done an awful lot of work with him, schooling-wise, he wasn't the best of jumpers. Uh, he still is a little bit tricky at times, but uh, he takes liberties at his jumps. He's, he's not like every other horse, he just doesn't jump up and over, he just kind of skims across the top, and he's very fast at his jumps, and he's got a lot of power in him. Um, but um, he's just built with something else. I don't know what it is. Um, if you could see inside him, you'd know. But he, he's got something maybe that other horses don't, uh, don't have. Um, he's just got unbelievable power. Um, and he's got a heart on him, I'd say, the size of... I don't know why. He must have huge lungs, so I don't know what it is. While the whole Irish public would love to see him go off the top one, he doesn't look likely to come to Michael O'Leary. Ah, yeah. Look, um, I suppose Michael is going to do the best for the horse. And I'm sure Gordon and, and the lads at home, uh, they know. He, the horse, he loves to run and jump, so and Michael is a sportsman. He'll let him do, do whatever is best for him. If they feel next, next, this time next year that he's up for it, he'll run. And if, if, if he's not, then, you know... The best to be done for the horse, but um, yeah, I just, I just. Yeah, you want to thank a few people, Dave. Yeah, obviously, uh, CRY and uh, uh, um, we've been very good, but the all GEA have been fantastic as always. Um, uh, Cormac and Alan Hensley and everybody involved. Um, <coughs> the pipe band, you know, it, it takes a bit of effort for them to come down here and to do what they what to do, and it adds a bit to it. So um, they're always very good at, in these occasions, and they add to it. Um, also the Gardaí, um, you know, I, I know, we, I'll send down a, a, a pack of donuts to them tomorrow, I'm sure they'll be alright. <laughs> but no, genuinely they're very good and, um, you know, this isn't easy to parade a horse down to a, a, a town, so it's, it's great. Uh, the Water Rally obviously have done their, uh, try to help out as much as they can. Uh, Siobhan Sheehan has been excellent, I don't think it would have went ahead without her. And uh, the Cork County Council, obviously, and, and the local County Council. It's just, I just like to thank everybody, and, and most importantly, to like to this event, just, just it's pointless doing it unless people turn out. And again, you know, things like this, they'll never get old, and no matter what era we're in or what 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 century we're in, uh, people just can admire something like Tiger Roll, and it's credit to everybody here to turn out and. I'm sure people have travelled plenty of miles to get here, so it's, it's credit to everybody here. Right? And Davy, we've had wonderful ambassadors from the town of Yall. We, in rugby, we've had Eddie O'Sullivan, we've had John Quill, who plays in America, um, David O'Callaghan, uh, in the GA, we have Christy Coney, in the snooker, we have young Ross Bullman and Ollie Landers. And ladies and gentlemen, we have the latest edition, the wonderful, the magnificent, give me three cheers. Davy Russell, hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip! Many thanks, David. Many congratulations. Wonderful, David.